Hey y'all, don't forget to hit those buttons while you're listening. First up, we've got the U.S. saying 40 foreign operators may be using Boeing 737s with suspect rooter control parts. I have not heard much about this, but we had Basan winning the Emmys last Wednesday. Marked a historic moment at the 45th annual News and Documentary Emmy Awards as Palestinian journalist Basan Adwa and AJ Plus News took home the prize for Outstanding Hard News Feature Story. Short form for the docuseries, It's Basan from Gaza and I'm Still Alive. But of course, Is Not Real begins a limited ground offensive into southern Lebanon, causing more destruction. And while Biden said he was going to talk to the Yahoo, the U.S. is descending a few thousand more troops to the Middle East to boost security and defend is not real if necessary. That Wisconsin city mayor has replaced the drop box that he stole. California is following behind Colorado in enacting laws to protect our brain data. Who drives an Aston Martin? And I don't know much about Stellantis either, but profit warnings. Oh my gosh. U.S. dock workers went on strike this morning. Um, the New York Times said that this would cost an estimated $5 billion a day. So let's see if they get these people what they need, deserve, and all that, right? Yay, here, if we're going to have do away with DEI, we also needed to do away with legacy emissions. And New California law bans legacy admissions and donor preferences at private universities. Yay. We did not need a think tank to tell us that the generation was getting older. I mean, now that we all realize that none of this has been around that long, it was all just kind of made up, fly by the seat of our pants and the labor, but then they started taking all the money. Any, anyways, America's reliance on government support is soaring, driven by programs such as Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, as the country's population aged, reported the Wall Street Journal. And I don't know how I feel about this. I guess I don't need to have any feeling about it. Um... California expands access to in vitro fertilization with new law requiring insurers to cover it. And I, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't have a feeling about it one way or the other. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I was thinking about states that are having a hard time getting birth control covered. And then to, but I'm glad that it also expands health care to benefit LGBTQ plus individuals. Um, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I, I think that was the shock is just, yeah, sorry, I didn't, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Arkansas sues YouTube over claims it's fueling a mental health crisis. I guess it kind of feels like, for me, this feels like um, in the 80s, 90s, when music would get sued often, like by parents, because their kids were changing. I don't know. WikiLeaks Julian Assange says he pleaded guilty to journalism in order to be free. We need never forget about him. He says, emphasize journalism is not a crime and journalists' work shouldn't be prosecuted. They shouldn't be prosecuted for their work. He expressed concerns about freedom of expression, saying it is a dark crossroads, urging collective action to uphold truth. This confuses me. We have Democratic donors propping up far-right candidates to draw votes from Republicans, but they're fighting third party candidates like actively like in courts all, to keep them off the ballot deep breaths apparently criminals have set up a fake online farm criminals set up fake online pharmacies to sell <clears throat> deadly counterfeit pills prosecutors say 
Sellers based in the U.S., the Dominican Republic and India packaged potentially deadly synthetic opioids into pills disguised as common prescription drugs and sold millions of them through fake online drugstores. This is insane because they threw out like 50,000 votes. They were like, these just don't count. Um, the measure to expand medical marijuana in Arkansas won't qualify for the ballot because Arkansas said these, uh, not votes, signatures for the petition. Sorry. <sighs> I think it was yesterday or the day before that I reported OpenAI is expected to lose like $5 billion this year. They are moving, they are changing from nonprofit to for-profit. A few, I think I may have said shareholders, but I think that they are like tie-up or people is what I meant, have left, resigned, um, Sam Altman was getting a big chunk of equity or something. Um, and then SoftBank, even with the knowledge of what they're going to be losing and how, the, I don't know, I, they're investing $500 million. Just throw in play money around, right? Well, CVS is to cut 2,900 jobs as it considers breaking up the business. I have a story about. And while I guess he is again asking for release, appealing for release, he was denied. Thank goodness. Um, due to concerns over community safety and potential witness harm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit those buttons over there. I hope your day doesn't suck. Okay, love y'all. Bye.